up everyone welcome to a brand new movie review today i'm discussing the little stranger little stranger is directed by lenny abrahamson who did room a couple years back he directed brie larson to her oscar win and introduced us to the world of jacob trembley now he's back directing dom hall gleason will poulter and ruth wilson the little stranger is all about dom hall gleason's character he's a doctor in england and he's sitting here taking house calls and one day he takes a house call to a particular house with a particular family and once he starts taking these house calls this house starts to have certain weird occurrences i haven't seen any trailers for this film i didn't really know much even about it i didn't know the story i knew who was a part of it i knew who was directing it and that's what got me intrigued to see this film and i like going to these small indie films not knowing what's uh, what's it about because it makes me intrigued to see what it's going to be about. And this film poses itself as more of a horror film after watching the trailer and just kind of reading up on it. But this film, for me, resides more as a drama with psychological horror elements to it. So psychological horror elements come from the direction from Lenny in here. Lenny's directing is the reason I think this film works overall. It's not a perfect film for me. It's not one of my favorite films of this year. But it's a film that makes me want to revisit it and analyze it and maybe that's just me being a film lover and all this types of things where i love to analyze film about each and every small detail and i do believe that there are small details small subtle hints in here that i do and should revisit that's what lenny did so perfectly in here because the theme and the tone and the pacing here is so slow but it's a nice slow burn that intrigues you the whole way which is the purpose of this film i think this film isn't just the main purpose is to entertain you it's to intrigue you and to make you obsessed with the film just like our main characters are obsessed with certain elements in here and that's where i'm going to kind of start to get vague with the whole story i think this is a film that you shouldn't know much about you should just go in and see what's going to happen again i said that word obsessed because the whole theme of this film is about obsession and what we are obsessed about and what our main characters find themselves being obsessed about that's what i kind of ended up being with this film is i found myself not just being intrigued with the film but being obsessed i took a couple days to review this film because i had to think on the film i had to sit on it and go man Man, what am I so intrigued with this film about? And I started replaying certain scenes and analyzing them in my head and kind of finding myself again obsessed with it. A sense where I was kind of going crazy just like the film makes our main character seem like it. That's where the whole tone of this film works completely. This whole tone of the movie is so unsettling and so abruptly unsettling again because the words unsettling, obsessive, and intriguing is what really holds this film and makes it and how are the three easiest ways to describe this movie because there's not one particular scene in this film that i did not feel that discomfort within this home and the way that lenny described these shots and the way that the cinematography captured these shots the second this film started i found myself already intrigued with the shots and already intrigued with the story not even knowing what's going to happen next and that's something that's captured. I felt something magical was going to happen. Even though I feel like this film didn't hit its point that I wanted it to, and maybe that's just because I do need to revisit this film. This is a film that I think needs countless rewatches to analyze. Again, that's the film lover in me talking. But it helped me intrigued to want to analyze these certain sequences. A lot of this goes not just through the fantastic directing, but the amazing acting in here. Will Poulter is a fantastic chameleon. Ever since she showed up into We Are The Millers, every small role this guy shows up into, he is fantastic, bar none one of the best. He was Oscar snubbed last year for Detroit. He was fantastic in The Reverend, and he's great in here. Same goes to Dom Hall Gleason, who is also fantastic, superb. Ruth Will and the rest of the cast is awesome in here. Every single person brings their A game. To be honest, I don't know where to pinpoint my exact discomfort with this film and where I didn't like it at because I can't, I feel like it's not a perfect movie, but it's a film that just left me hanging, but in a good and a bad way. It's such a hard film to grade and such a hard film to rate, but it's also such a hard film to describe without going into spoilers. You guys are kind of in the films like The Babadook or certain indie films like that, where these smaller films, where it deals with these psychological things. I think this is the film for you. It's not a film for everyone. Some people might find this film boring, but I found myself intrigued and obsessed with every single thing going on within it. And this is a film that the second it comes out in theaters, the second I can see 
see this film again, I'm going to go see it again because I have to analyze every single sequence in it. And I will admit some of the sequences started to go towards that generic horror house kind of thing where it didn't go over the top Lee thing, but I did find that generic haunted house theme kind of weaved within it and I would have liked the more touch on that stuff just because I felt like it was kind of thrown in abruptly. But again, it's a film that doesn't tell you everything, but it's a film that makes you leaving, thinking about it, intrigued with it, and obsessed. Just like I think the director wanted us to do. Those three things, again, are the main things that hold this film together with a fantastic performance, with a fantastic directing. It's going to be one of the most underrated films of this year. I have no feeling about that. No one is going to talk about it later on this year. Maybe that's just me. I didn't talk with anyone else about this film. I've only been marinating on by myself. I found myself really enjoying this film and just really intrigued with it. I keep using these words because that's really the easiest way to describe it. All that said, I'm going to give The Little Stranger an A-. Again, I don't know where my obsession comes with this film, but there's just so much in there. And I just want to analyze every single aspect of it. But guys, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on The Little Stranger. Have you guys seen this film? Are you intrigued to see it? Comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are on this. And did you see Room? Tell me, what did you guys think about that fantastic film? Of course, if you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news, and also some movie reviews. But guys, until next time, stay classy. We'll